what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and oh why does that look like it's on a back door because it is on a back door of this transit yep hey there all right today this guy came in we have a check engine light uh, for two codes one <clears throat> a p0 204F, which is a reductant system performance code. Then also in the reductant dosing control module, there was a P20BA. Now, if you guys have seen my video uh, just a few weeks ago, um, the 20BA for our pickups, same kind of part, uh, just different part number, essentially doing the same thing also getting a, a vent and we have super premium def that's definitely what you want i invite you guys to check out extended coverage program 20 mo2 and these parts here are going to be covered under warranty uh, this vehicle is within the criteria to receive such a repair for extended coverage on the def heater sender if you have a 2015 or 19 model year transit for the extended coverage if you have a check engine light on or codes in the PCM or reductant dosing control module I'm gonna list these on the screen so you guys can check them out uh, if you have DTC's P23A P23B, P23C, P23D, P23E, P20BA, P20B0, P20B9, P25C, and P25D. If any of those are present, then placement of the reductant heater and sender assembly and that little vent valve um, is going to take place uh, as well as a new software reflash for the PCM. What we're gonna continue with comparing to the video that I did a few weeks ago with the pickup one. Um, I showed you some Diag. This one's not really Diag um, necessary with the extender coverage if you have those DTCs who just replaced this component. I'm gonna just go over briefly really quick what you need to do to remove the tank. There are some fingers that hold these lines in. Just go ahead and pop these lines off. Sometimes the def tank is full and will puke out this line. So what I'll do is be careful when you're taking this off. Sometimes this connection here is hard to get to. I'll leave that attached and I'll just pop this line off and let it dribble out. Um, you got a secondary little vent line up here right above that. That one you usually can get off with uh, pinching your fingers and uh, popping that off. Moving to the uh, inboard here. Uh, same process to take off the def line as your pickup one was. Push it and then hit the finger tabs um, at uh, either you know 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock or vice versa. And uh, pop that off. You got to take the electrical connector off too. Got a uh, locating twang, one here, and additionally one on this harness up here. You can see that blue thing. Go ahead and pop that blue thing out of the tank. That's uh, also a re retaining tab for that harness. You see the tank goes all the way up here. There's one big bolt connector you will have to get once you get it down a little further. But that's about it. Everything coming off here. You got a bolt here. Bolt here is taking the brackets off. Two bolts on this side. They. And some of them are not connected. This one has a bar connecting the two straps. The newer ones uh, just have two separate bars, so it's kind of a, a hokey pokey when you're putting it back up by yourself because this one's moving and this one's moving. And then that's it. So the next shot we're gonna get is it on the ground and I'm gonna show you the routine of replacing the Def Heater Sender in a 2015 to 19 Transit 3.2 diesel. Alrighty, I got the tank out. I took the front straps off. We'll loosen them because they're attached to the back um, and the tank actually will sit right here on this cross member so actually these transit ones really aren't that bad to do it's kind of gravy almost and then uh, what I went ahead and did was got me a little jiggle jack here like this and uh, if you're doing this on your back you know just use a floor jack I would assume I'm mean, gonna actually just took it out myself usually I grab my buddy to uh, take it off but uh, he just had a baby and he ain't here so uh, yeah I just did it myself just push it up against the uh, body move the jack and then just took it down as you guys see right here that's it little baby tank it was completely full like I said I took this line off the death started coming out actually it's leaking just a little bit here too yeah that's pretty much it Gotta pop this little cover off, and it's actually the same pump 
as our super duty. So remember um, what I said about taking all this stuff off. We'll uh, get it going here real quick and show you transit style for moving the def heater sunder. All right, here we are back up on the tank. This one doesn't uh, doesn't really get as dirty as our pickups do, but uh, nonetheless, we're just going to give it a quick spray and make sure we have no debris going to get into this pump orifices. Same exact tools to remove our pump as our pickup. Remember I showed you in the toolbox walkthrough what I used? Discard those bolts. Going to disconnect our bolt connector for our heater sunder. And I'm just going to go ahead and unclip the whole harness from around the death pump cover. Clip all these things, just clip them right out of there. And then remember, cleanliness is key here. You want to just get this up out of the way. We have one zip tie that I foolishly forgot to disconnect. Two zip ties, sorry. Get this out of the way. So we are replacing this. This isn't getting reused. Turn everything back in. Pump cover lid. I mean heater sunder cover. Lid. Fastening ring. Same size as our pickup. Heck yeah. And then uh, let's give it one more blow. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and work my little screwdriver up in. Let's get ready to pop this up before I get popped up all the way. So remember, we have to remember the orientation. So this thing was sitting in here just like this. I'm gonna use this. I know these are gonna have to be on my left. I'm gonna use this hole. This hole in relation to this hole. I'm gonna scribe the tank. Did you guys see, did you guys see me do that? You guys can take my word for it. Okay, get this up, and then I'm gonna work this ring, get just like I did on the pickup. I mean, this might be kind of cruddy. I already went and took the new one out of the bag because I like to put the old one right into this bag, so it's not uh, you know making a mess all over my bench and whatnot. And that's it. Let it drain. Look how tiny that is compared to our our pickups. Our pickups, eh, our pickups probably probably that that long, if I were to guess. Put that right in the box. Got our brand new DEF heater sender. Check it out. Some wires. Stuff going down inside. Not a whole lot in there. But the part that goes bad. It's in there somewhere. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's in this maybe. I don't know. No. It's got to be down there because uh, these big power wires are going here. And that is coming out of the lid and going into this tube here, which goes all the way down into like that white thing. Yeah, anyway. Enough fun. Enough funness. Give this a quick wipe. Go ahead and plop her down in there. She's completely full. Okay, we got it, got it turned. Here's our new gasket. Usually it's all smashed in the pickup box. This one's all nice and nice and round like it should be. So we're gonna put this boy back down on right here. Remember it's gotta go on the outside of the heater sender between the tank and the heater sender. So you just gotta, once you get one side, you just kinda just follow it all the way around. Okay, remember, these were on my left side and I'm going this hole here with that scribe. The tank's hissing at me. She don't like me. Ooh. Got it. Okay, I already went and tightened it. I didn't uh, want to put you guys through the beeping again. But in the kit, remember, just like the pickup, you get all these O-rings. This one already comes in the uh, 
the heater center. We don't need it. It's right there. Come back in here with our pump. All I'm looking for is just to line up the holes, the mounting holes. That's all I'm worried about. If they line up, everything else will. And they just did. Go ahead and tighten this guy back on. Shout out to Joe Diesel. Joe Diesel 187. I was talking to him on Instagram like 10 minutes ago. Okay, now let's go ahead and clip in our harness. Clip in all these boys. Give them a good clippy whip. We got our new vent that we have to replace. It's got like a little barbed end on it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that guy on. <clears throat> so it should look somewhat like that. Go ahead and push that grill on. Okay, we got our big bolt connector going right to our heater center that we just replaced. Okay. And let's get that, let's put a little, little zippy right here. The ones they give us in the kit, remember have that little, that little thing on it. That has to clip, clip into the lid like that. So, you know, you gotta go in your harness like this. Just like that. And then, I'll do one more right here. Okay, you guys, and then uh, maybe I cut that one right there. Actually, I'm gonna put. Looks like this ripped off a little bit. I don't know. This was flopping around when I took it off. Maybe that's why somebody put a zip tie there. I'll put one there anyway. Alright, Duff Tank is ready to be installed. Now you can either have the choice of dumping that DEF out uh, or putting the tank back up in full. I'm just gonna save a step and uh, just leave it up in there. So. All right, I'm gonna try to set it up so you can watch me put the tank back in, but uh, it may or may not work. All right, we're gonna start off with a shot like this. Um, you guys can see I got my jiggle jack right there. I'm going to grab the tank and first set it right up here and then slide my jiggle jack underneath it and then get the uh, straps to hold it up. Now let's get the uh, strap up there. All right, I got the bracket all up in there. And... Okay, we're hammering down. I'm emphasizing a point that DEF line's got to be in a certain spot because otherwise that pump orientation ain't going to work. So lastly, we got our connector up here. Remember it was flopping around. I feel it up there. Let's see if I go around the front. Still kind of hard to see. And then we got one twang here. Okay. Probably have some deaf juice out at us. That one's lined up. Pop that on. Let's see how much juice is out. Oh, should be good. Yeah, babe. I'm just gonna go ahead and to take this off, I just push up like that. And I just work that back on, no biggie. Got a little spring clamp. Let's see if I can go ahead and put that on.
bingo. And then these lines here. Oh, you can see where they're supposed to go in between there. And that, my friends, is it. That, for the most part, was how to replace your DEF heater sender on your 15 to 19 Transit. And one of the last things to do apart for the uh, extended coverage is to reprogram the PCM with the latest software. So we're going to let the computer do its thing. Give us some prompts here in just a moment. Alright, well, I guess the PCM is already at the most current level, so that would conclude today's episode. Drop me a like, tell me what you think about that, guys, in the comment section below. If anybody's had to do their DEF heater sender and their transit. Drop me a like, subscribe, I'll catch you guys next Friday. Thanks so much for watching.